high-demand products. Ferrero Rocher chocolates are produced entirely with machines from the beginning to the end. This explains why the company is able to produce millions daily. Before getting into the production process, it's important to know the ingredients used. These include lots of hazelnuts, milk chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter, low-fat cocoa powder, cocoa mass, skim milk powder, butter oil, lecithin, which is used as an emulsifier, vanilla, which is an artificial vanilla flavoring, palm oil, wheat flour, whey, which is a specially manufactured kind of milk, sodium bicarbonate as a leavening agent, and finally, salt. All these ingredients come together to form the four-layered chocolate that we can't get enough of. The first step is producing the first layer, made up of a chocolate-filled wafer ball covered in more chocolate. The first components produced are the bare wafer balls, which take only a few minutes before becoming spherical balls. These wafers were individual hemispheres, two of which are joined together to form one wafer ball. To make the wafers, a factory worker mixes large quantities of flour and water with small amounts of fat, sugar, salt, and sodium bicarbonate in a large mixing machine. Sometimes yeast is added to the mixture, but the batter will turn out fine with or without it. When the batter has been formed, designated quantities are scooped into another machine, which shapes each portion into a hemisphere. Thousands of these shaped batters are transported to a gas oven using a large steel convener. After a few minutes of baking, the newly added semicircular wafers are taken out of the oven and onto the next station, where they're stuffed with different fillings. Some are stuffed with chocolate hazelnut creams, while others are stuffed with plain old hazelnuts. Fun fact, the chocolate hazelnut cream is Nutella. And since the chocolate spread is also made by the Ferrero company, it is not exactly surprising. Nutella is a spread made out of mainly chocolate and hazelnut, with a lot of sugar and palm oil. This process begins with the extraction of cocoa powder from cocoa beans, which have been left to dry for about 10 days. Cocoa beans are made up of 50% cocoa butter, which is also extracted in this process. Once the beans are roasted, their butter content turns to liquid, and the resulting paste is stored for later use. The next ingredients prepared for the chocolate spread are hazelnuts. A mechanized guillotine divides each hazelnut into two parts to expose the interior for inspection. The good ones are separated from the bad ones, which are discarded, and some of the good ones are stored for later. The chosen nuts are then cleaned, roasted, and thrown into a massive container where they're mixed with other ingredients like cocoa, sugar, vanilla, and skim milk. A whip machine then mixes all these ingredients together until a paste is produced. The cocoa butter extracted at the beginning is then added to the mixture to help it retain its solid state at room temperature. However, palm oil can serve as a substitute. Whey powder is added to act as a binder for the taste. Lecithin and vanillin are also added, and after a good mix, the chocolate hazelnut paste is ready. The roasted hazelnuts initially set aside are added into the paste for crunchiness, and the mixture is ready to be scooped into the wafer hemispheres. The next step is carried out by mechanical fingers. As the wafers move on the silicon conveners down below, Mechanical fingers scoop the mixture of paste and hazelnuts into them, and they are transported to the next station. Another set of wafer hemispheres is mechanically filled with just hazelnuts, and transported alongside those containing the chocolate spread. At the next station, another machine joins one of each kind of wafer together, forming the popular chocolate hazelnut wafer balls. After clamping the wafers together, the next step is to make the next layer of chocolate by coating the wafer ball in chocolate syrup. As they move along the convener, each wafer ball is dipped into previously prepared chocolate for a few seconds before adding the next chocolate layer. After leaving the chocolate station, the chocolate covered Ferrero is completely dipped into another large container containing chopped hazelnut, forming the third layer. Next, the hazelnut covered chocolate is dipped into a large pool of milk chocolate, forming the fourth layer. 
The chocolate production is complete at this point, and all that's left is the packaging. After leaving the milk chocolate station, the chocolate balls are transported to a machine where they are wrapped in the signature gold foil. This stage is a high speed process that uses a machine that gets the job done in seconds. Up next is the inspection stage. The inspection department of the Ferrero company is filled with perfectionists whose only concern is supplying their faithful customers with quality chocolate. Professional testers who have been trained to distinguish different tastes properly are hired to taste the chocolate balls. Anyone that falls short, even in the slightest, is discarded, as well as others produced in the same set. Fortunately, many chocolate balls make it through the screening process and are packaged, boxed, and transported to retailers worldwide.